Republican strategist Roger Stone is denying he had any type of contact with WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange amid allegations he was passing on hacked DNC emails to President Trump during the 2016 election. He spoke with One America's Christopher Carter, who has this exclusive interview. Roger Stone has worked in the presidential arena for decades, but he's also known Donald Trump just as long. I sat down with him to try to find out why he seems to be a target for the left and what he has to say about it. We've heard calls in Congress recently for a second independent counsel. What are the chances we're ever going to see charges brought against Hillary Clinton? Uh, it's an interesting question. Um, it just seems to me, and I wrote an extensive piece for InfoWars uh, and for The Daily Caller uh, on Uranium One because it, it involves Robert Mueller, James Comey, Andrew McCabe, and yes, Rod Rosenstein. All of them are central players in this extraordinary drama. I think we will get a special prosecutor one way or another, sooner or later. Whether that uh, manifests itself in charges against Bill and Hillary Clinton remains to be seen. You had mentioned something to me about you being implicated in giving these hidden emails from yeah, Julian Assange. Yeah, Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, in the wake of Sam Nunberg's uh, fascinating, riveting performance in which he contradicted himself wildly uh, in the wake of his being questioned by uh, the special counsel, some have said, uh, Washington Post, MSNBC, Salon, that, uh, that Roger Stone received hacked emails from WikiLeaks or Julian Assange, passed them on to President Trump and his campaign, and that's why the president publicly called on the Russians to release the material, because allegedly he had already seen it. This is categorically false. I never received anything whatsoever, including hacked emails, but nothing, no emails, from WikiLeaks or Assange. I never passed them on to Donald Trump. You can't pass on what you don't have. But I'd go a step further. I never discussed this matter with candidate Trump or President Trump before, during, or after the campaign. So it's a false narrative that is meant to reinflate the entire Russian collusion delusion. The reason that uh, our critics think this is important is because in their telling, Julian Assange, who I just believe is a crusading journalist, uh, is a Russian asset. I reject that. Um, it is the mantra of our intelligence services. These are the same people who told us there was no metadata collection program on Americans, told us that Saddam Hussein had weapons of mass destruction. Very clearly, our intelligence agencies have been politicized, and they are following a political narrative. But in their theory, if Assange were a Russian asset, and if he passed documents to Roger Stone, who then passed them to the president, well, that would constitute treason. A, it never happened, and B, I argue with the premise of the question, Assange is a journalist. He does what journalists do. In 11 years that he's been in business at WikiLeaks, and I've never met him or spoke to him, but I have admitted that I admire his courage, uh, he has never been contradicted about the accuracy or the authenticity of anything he's published. Can the Washington Post or the New York Times say that? They cannot. So uh, I'm glad to have this opportunity to knock this totally fake narrative down. There are no emails that show that I was surreptitiously meeting with Julian Assange. My passport would demonstrate I never left the country in 2015 or 2016. The security cameras at the Ecuadorian embassy, uh, which is a cramped little space where Assange is a virtual prisoner, would demonstrate that I never arrived there, but that's because I never left the country. This is a canard cooked up by those on the left who want to reinflate what at this point is a completely discredited narrative. Mr. Stone has been a great help to President Trump and will no doubt be a fixture in politics for some time to come as the Trump presidency rolls on with much success. In New York City, I'm Christopher Carter, One America News. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call today.